mTOR is what grows your muscles, but mTOR is also what is decreasing your longevity. You see, we always talk about autophagy, and if you do watch my videos frequently, then you know what autophagy is. Autophagy is where your cells are recycling uh, just weaker components of themselves and organelles, so basically they just kind of recycle a portion of a cell when you're in starvation mode or anything like that. Well, to give you a simple example, mTOR is the opposite. So in today's video, I want to just give you a lay of the land of what mTOR is and how it's working inside your body and when you want surges of mTOR versus surges of autophagy. You see, within our bodies, we have opposing biological processes. And what I mean by that is we always have a balance of growth and we always have a balance of longevity. So growth and longevity compete with each other and eventually one wins, right? Okay, so we obviously want longevity. Now, mTOR is related with growth. The whole purpose of mTOR is to activate growth, which is, in essence, the opposite of longevity. So you would think, in theory, that mTOR is really, really bad. We don't want mTOR because it decreases longevity. But again, we all come back to when we want it, when we want growth. So I want to break this down in some simple examples so that you have an understanding. Exercise, okay? that triggers mTOR. It triggers growth in the skeletal muscle. Growth, okay? Fasting, that inhibits mTOR, triggers autophagy. That is longevity. Then insulin activates mTOR. Insulin is growth, mTOR is growth. So whenever we eat, we activate mTOR, growth versus longevity. Same with branched chain amino acids. Okay, you take a branch chain amino acid supplement because you're trying to build muscle. You're also activating mTOR, which means you're activating growth. Then we have another thing called sirtuins. Now, if you're a science nerd, you know what a sirtuin is, but a sirtuin is sort of an anti-aging compound in the body. Okay, sirtuins are sort of the opposite of mTOR as well. So sirtuins being longevity, the opposite of mTOR, which is growth. Okay, the point is we have these things. Okay, mTOR is all about growth and autophagy is all about longevity. But how is this process working within your body and what do you need to know as a layperson that's just trying to get through life and live for the longest amount of time possible? Well, mTOR is complicated. Okay, we have mTOR1, we have mTOR2, and they do different things. In fact, if you look at the image that's up on the screen right now, you'll see that mTOR is pretty complicated. What this image is depicting is it's showing how mTOR stands in the way or impedes or allows certain processes to happen within the body. You see, here's how it works mTOR is what is called a kinase, okay? And a kinase is something interesting in that it takes a phosphate group, it takes a phosphate molecule, rather, from ATP. And what this means is it basically takes a phosphate molecule from energy creation and it randomly throws it along with other proteins. So basically, a kinase, like mTOR, regulates other proteins and therefore determines what the downstream path or downstream result is. To make this very, very simple, basically mTOR is something that dictates what direction the body goes and where. Let me give you a very clear analogy. Let's say, for example, you have a river, and a river that is flowing super smoothly with no impedance whatsoever, right? It's just flowing along, okay? Then all of a sudden, you take a big, giant, pillar or a big rock and you plop it smack right in the middle of the river. So the river's gone from having this clean flowing just life to all of a sudden having a disturbance, a disruption where it has to divert water around the rock to the right and around the rock to the left. Well suddenly you've taken the energy and the force of that river and you've concentrated it in one direction and in another direction. That rock or that pillar is mTOR. Okay? It came in, it disrupted a protein, and it all depends on where it hits in terms of that protein, and it changed the direction of the downstream path. So it diverted water off to the right and left, which in this case is growth off to the right and left. So for instance, when you work out, you trigger mTOR in the skeletal muscle tissue. That's like putting a rock in a specific area of the river that's gonna allow it to grow muscle. Okay, that's hypothetical, obviously. So you can see how mTOR is not necessarily just activated in your entire body, it's activated in specific spots, and it all depends on where it puts that phosphate group or phosphate molecule within a given protein. So depending on where it adds it, it can either activate different processes or inhibit different processes. You see, put the rock in the middle of the river, 
and it's going to inhibit autophagy, but it's going to activate growth. So I know that's a little bit complicated, but I hope it all makes sense. Hey, I do want to stop for one second. If you haven't already hit that red subscribe button, please do. And if you haven't hit that bell icon, I encourage you to do so as well. So you never, ever, ever miss a beat. And also, all the things that we're talking about, it's all about keeping in balance, okay? So if we have mTOR activation that's really high, obviously that's pro-growth and anti-longevity. I just want to make a note that there's things that you can implement into your life to increase autophagy to balance the mTOR. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but like green tea, matcha green tea is probably one of the best ways throughout the course of the day that you can at least encourage autophagy to occur. And if we got mTOR and autophagy always in a constant balance. So if you're doing things like lifting weights and working out, you want to be sipping on green tea so that you can at least crush some of the mTOR levels that might go on long term. Okay. Now we'll talk a little bit more about that later. If you guys do want to check out some of the matcha that I recommend, there's a special link for Yujido Matcha down below, a 180 year old matcha company. They sponsor a lot of videos on my channel and they're super, super awesome, super clean. And they have these little to go packets that you can just like literally put it in some water, put it in some almond milk, whatever you want to do and just be on the go and have your matcha packet. So special link down below in the description. So when we look at mTOR as sort of this live hot, die young sort of thing, it gives us a little bit of an understanding. Okay, a, a very extreme hypothetical example would be, let's take someone that's only focused on muscle growth, right? Only focused on anabolism. They focus on how big can I get my muscles? Well, obviously they're going to focus only on that and eventually there's no focus on longevity, they're probably going to die younger, right? Okay, it's just like we have to look at that. So the live hot, die fast, die young kind of thing truly is there. We want mTOR. We just want it at specific points in time. We want mTOR after a workout. We want mTOR when we're trying to build muscle, but we want to balance it with autophagy. mTOR is not bad. We need to have these balanced cycles. For every little bit of mTOR activation that we have, we have growth, which means we have waste, which means that we need to have proper breakdown too. Okay. Additionally, as I said, we want to have these surges all the time. It's also funny to think that too much autophagy is bad too. In fact, Catabolism in elderly patients is one of the biggest risk factors for death. So what that means is that if you have too much of the opposite of mTOR, it's a big risk factor for death, just as much as mTOR is a big risk factor for death if you have too much. In fact, it's never really been proven that mTOR is a risk factor for death. It's all just a balance, once again. If you focus only on growing new tissues, i.e. cancer, things like that, obviously you're going to have a problem, okay? So it's all about the balance. So how you do that is up to you. Meditation, fasting in conjunction with periods of mTOR, sipping on green tea to induce autophagy while also having meals at certain times to induce mTOR. And one last very important thing that we need to realize is that we are not just some homogenous blob that has an on or off switch. And what I mean by that is we don't just activate mTOR in our entire body. It's not how it works. Just like we don't activate autophagy in our entire body all at once. Okay, when we're fasting, for instance, we trigger hepatic autophagy first. That means autophagy within the liver. The liver cells start to regenerate first because they're the most active in metabolism, so the second that they get a break, they start to recycle. Well, believe it or not, you could have mTOR being activated in your brain at that very point in time that your liver is going through autophagy. And also when you're working out and you're inducing skeletal muscle mammalian target of rapamycin, there's a very good chance because blood flow and nutrients are going to the muscles that your brain is in a state of autophagy or not having mTOR activated. So it's not like you have mTOR just on. And like, so the point in saying this is eating isn't bad. Working out isn't bad. Activating mTOR isn't bad. I've talked to people that simply think that if they have mTOR being activated, that they're building cancer cells. It doesn't quite work like that. However, if you live your life in a constant mTOR state because you're constantly eating and you're constantly doing things like that, then yes, there probably is some indicator, I'm not a doctor, that out there showing that yes, you are probably building cancer cells and you're probably promoting the growth of things that shouldn't be there. The point is, keep it balanced. Sip on green tea, fast regularly, but don't be afraid to have a big surge of food. Don't be afraid to have a big bolus of protein to trigger mTOR so you can actually recover. So the goal of this video was to help people not be afraid of mTOR. If you want a more in-depth breakdown of mTOR, I'm happy to do one. Just let me know down in the comment section below and I'll do a more detailed scientific review on how mTOR works within the body. So as always, I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to check out Yujito Matcha down below and please don't forget to like this video, hit that red subscribe button and turn on that little bell icon so you can always see whenever we are posting new content. Okay, we've got new kinds of things coming out all the time and also hitting that little bell icon is gonna make it so you don't miss the live 
broadcasts that I do. These are really fun and interactive for the community. Allow me to sit down and actually answer questions one on one as much as I possibly can so you can actually join the party and be here live whenever we're doing these videos. So again, appreciate you being here and as always make sure you're keeping it locked in on your health and on this channel. See you soon.